Limbus Company. This game combines a turn-based RPG and a real-time brawl. Each turn results in a display of accelerating action. In the combat phase, units on both sides will act simultaneously and during the scramble, characters targeting each other may clash. The outcome of a clash depends on the strength of their opposing skills and a sprinkle of luck. Yeah, of course, this is a gacha game, you do need some luck. And the winner can shut down the loser skill, so make sure you use the right skills and win the clashes. The art style of this game is where it's at. It is creepy and eerie, and I think it's for a more mature audience unlike, you know, Genshin Impact or Tower of Fantasy or even Epic 7. It's not that vibrant. And when you kill an enemy, yeah, when you kill an enemy, listen to, listen to me, the enemy will explode and there is blood everywhere, even for us. So when the enemy killed us, your character will explode and there's blood everywhere. So it is pretty eerie. And a pretty good game too. So make sure to try this game out. And it is on Steam uh, with all the graphical fidelity goodness. And of course, the 120 FPS. Yeah. Octopath Traveler. I've said this many many times and that this game is good. It is a 2D pixelated art style with in-depth turn-based combat system with all the boosts and it's just amazing to play this. It is so satisfying and rewarding and of course challenging. Now I don't think this game has the auto repeat button so that is kind of a downer. I think this game needs more quality of life improvement but for now it is good as it is and you should definitely give this game a try because there's a lot of customization i mean the character customization like the equipment adding more skills to each character upgrading them and so much more so yeah octopath traveler a good turn-based uh gacha rpg that you need to play and that is worth it. <laughs> outer plane even though this game is a bit old and the graphic department this game plays really really good not to mention that the animation of this game is top-notch and the quality of life of this game is superb it's not just a normal turn-based rpg like epic 7 or even summoner's war there's link attacks and so much more in this game and you can mix and match between characters and there's this thing like upgrade if you use, I mean not upgrade, sorry, it's like synergy if you use the same element in your team. So that is pretty cool, right? So definitely give this game a try and see if you like it or not and enjoy your games, man. This game is good. And this, and this, and this. Cat Fantasy. Now this game is all about cats, so if you do like cats, or you know you like uh, husbando cats, or waifu cats, then this is the game for you. And what I really love about this game is just the music. The music is super super chill, it's just very good. I like it, I like the music of this game, but I cannot show the music to you guys, it's because it is copyrighted, that's the sad part of this game. So the music is chill and it's so vibey in this game and it's just so aesthetically pleasing if you see it right now. The UI is clean, the heads up display is super clean and the combat, I mean the combat system it's more or less like Reverse 1999 but they are still trying to do something new here so I do appreciate that. But unfortunately that this game is only available in Southeast Asia for now. It is still in soft launch. But we can expect that this game will be launching globally because I know there is some kind of rumors or even the official media of this game has announced that there will be a global launch. So we have to wait and see and keep our fingers crossed.
愛子様が改良した最新の戦闘システム<笑><笑> Reverse 1999, the most anticipated game of 2023. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's just aesthetically pleasing. The voice acting is good. It's because they're all British. So the charming 2D chibi art style is where it's at. The gameplay is of course pretty generic. It's a normal turn-based RPG. Well, there is some gimmicks here and there. So the gameplay is that this game is using a card so that you can only use a card that is shown in the card panel so that is pretty nice i guess and you can swipe between cards to make your cards more powerful i think that's a nice touch honestly it's not just a, another normal turn-based uh, gacha rpg and this game is also on pc and it runs beautifully it's so smooth and the quality of life of this game is chef's kiss so make sure to try this game out and this game has just come out in 2023 just as i said and there will be a lot more content in this game so man i just love the design of the characters in this game is because it's flashy but it's also aesthetically pleasing and charming at the same time how can you not love this game so yeah reverse 1999 a game that is worth playing and you should definitely definitely check that game out no memory of the scene will be left. 99 I wish you sweet dreams. Brown Dust 2. Almost the same as Reverse 1999, this game has a 2D GB art style and it is flashy but not over the top. It is also aesthetically pleasing and the UI in this game is clean. It's not as clean as Honkai Star Rail, but it's not like, oh my god, there's so much going on here and blah blah blah. No, it's not. And there is a lot of fan service in this game. And if you do like a story-driven gacha RPG, then this game is definitely worth your time because when you play the cutscene, it will automatically play for you and the dialogue, all of that stuff is perfection. It's like a top-tier AAA voice acting and there's no long pauses between dialogues. So I freaking love this game just for that and till this day I keep on coming back I don't play this religiously like some of my games but definitely give this game a go and see if you like it or not some people don't like the grid turn-based aspect of this game but man they are trying to do something new again and I like it that's it that game is also on PC which is amazing and will be coming on Steam in the future so keep that in mind Atelier Resley Riano. This game has officially came out uh, and it is open globally and it is also on Steam. This game really plays similar to Honkai Star Rail, I uh, just have to be honest with you. But the uh, good one is that it can, well it is an Atelier franchise so it can synthesize or stuff that Atelier series can, that's pretty much it. Graphics wise, not the best in my opinion, I don't really like the 3D art style of games like this but then again the quality of life in this game is top tier and it is on steam once again that is why this game is sitting high up in the list the game plays really really well and to be honest i just love the waifus man the waifus <laughs> Black Clover M. Oh my god, it's another anime gacha RPG. Must be shitty as hell. Stop that. Stop it, please. Because this game is not shitty. As you can see just from the animation alone, it is top notch. They do put some effort into the animation and quality of life, man. Again, I know I'm always saying quality of life of a gacha game, but you do need quality of life, a good quality of life in any gacha game to make your experience much more enjoyable 
and this game in the quality of life department is top tier. It's not a normal turn based. I mean, well, it is a normal turn based RPG like Epic 7, Summoner's War, Honkai Star Rail, but it is not Honkai Star Rail, okay? They have a link attack, they have friendship points, they have, you know, stuff. Some of the gimmicks I would say in this game that you have to experience it by yourself. And man, this game plays really good. I know even though you don't play this game on PC, there is an emulator and it runs really really well in that emulator. Personally for myself, I don't like any anime gacha games because it is just money grabbing and a cliche to milk the fan base. And I don't like that. But this game, hands down, this is the best anime gacha RPG in the market. They put a lot of effort and love into making this one. And yeah, revenues of this game speaks for itself. And I think for a week, they have like 10 million downloads. And then the revenue, I think it's like a million or so. I know maybe not as big as Honkai Star Rail, but it is something. So that proves to you that this game is one of the best or the best in the anime adaptation of any gacha RPG. Should I show you my secret weapon? It's not my Epic 7. This is my favorite 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 game and i still play this game till this day even right now while i'm making this video i have this game running in the background just to grind i love the grinding aspect of this game graphics it is timeless even if you play it right now since it was released you can still see the charm and you will still get attracted to it i don't know it's just clean art style is clean not much going on and the animation of this game is wow Maybe because it's in 2D, that is why the animation is so goddamn epic. I get it? Epic. And the character design in this game is just wow. They have a lot, man. They have guns. They have elves. What else? They have... I don't know, man. But, but yeah, just so many. So many of them. Trust me. So, Epic 7. With the new updated quality of life and UI, this game makes it to number 2. And I just love this game even though the pvp kind of sucks in my opinion but i don't really care because i don't play pvp i only play the pv content and the grind of this game and i'm just taking my time grinding if you say that this game's drop is shitty then you never never ever played any gacha game epic 7 still worth it in 2024 and play it that's it step back if you value your life don't say I didn't warn you. I will. Of course, the number one will be Honkai Star. What can I say? This game is perfect in every aspect of any gacha RPG. Well, okay, so not everything, okay? It's the story that I don't like in this game. That's only it. Voice acting is phenomenal, audio design is phenomenal. Graphic design is phenomenal, art style is looking crispy, looking good, simple, UI as you can see, it is clean as hell, you know what's going on, you know what you want to click, and everything in this game is so good, it's so professional, it is made by professionals, you know every buffs that your team have, you know every debuff that your enemies have, so in this game, everything is accessible and simple at the same time. Most of you guys probably telling me that, oh my god, this game is overrated. But no, this, there's a reason why people are paying for Honkai Star Rail. It's because the top tier animation, the top tier quality of life department, again, quality of life. That's what I'm so obsessed, man. And honestly, the story in this game is actually interesting, but how they deliver the story, like from the long pauses between dialogue it's really crushing the game and i don't know why they don't have a skips cutscene button but when the cutscene is on man man the animation is so epic it's more epic than epic 7 i'm telling you so honkai star rail top tier in every aspect and it is still sitting in number one till this day maybe i will change it if there is another turn-based gacha rpg that is more fun than Honkai Star Rail, who knows.
Well, I'm still looking forward to that, and for now, Honkai Star Rail is still in my number one, and it will be in number one for many, many people, and this game is really, really worth playing. Just for the story content alone, yeah. They have so many side quests, so many events, uh, good events, um, not bad ones. Such a beautiful game, such a beautiful gacha RPG. So Honkai Star Rail, definitely a game worth playing. <laughs> お注射の時間よ。お休み。この曲はあんた。もっと騒ぎを起こしたくはない。あ、もう知らせてあげる。<笑>